the Thoughty OT podcast. I had horrible problems with anxiety. Horrible. Yeah. And as I went through my 20s, it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And in my book, Thinking in Pictures, which is available in the UK in all formats, um, I described my experiences with antidepressant medication. It saved me. Yeah. It stopped horrible colitis attacks. Horrible. Oh, Health was just a mess. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, absolutely a mess. And, and uh, you know, so I think some of the masking thing is anxiety. Um, but on the what motivated me in my 20s is people thought I was stupid. Yeah. I wanted to prove to the world I was not stupid. I really wanted to prove to people I was not stupid. Yeah. I can do it. And for me, my sense of identity is career. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of, and, and some of the most fun stuff I ever did was in construction. Sure. Funnest stuff we ever did. You see, that's friends who shared interests. I was bullied horribly in high school. Horribly. Called all kinds of names like tape recorder. People don't even know what a tape recorder is now. Big thing with reels like this <laughs> I know what you that mean. you record on. <laughs> and they called me that because... I would keep using the same phrases. Yeah. So I'd walk across the cafeteria and go tape recorder. And it was horrible. Uh -huh. And the only places I was not bullied was um, um, horses, yeah. model rockets, and electronics. I mean, something that really sort of perked my ears up was um, your your experiences in, in education that, or – or all the workplace around around bullying and and mental health and no, stress. I had, well, do you think that there was some, like, what what do you think? Um, because because personally for me, I uh, I have quite severe depression and anxiety, um, that was 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 caused by, um, the the, the bullying and isolation that I experienced at at secondary school, and the the issue was for me is that I. I ha have always had, even from a very young age, um, a really, really, really big interest in in other people. You know, the, the the psychology of people, how people work, and how to, how to get on with them, and 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 make friends. And I've I've done quite a lot of work um, in my time on things such as cognitive uh, cognitive empathy, reading reading people, and um, I've had a lot of practice sort of out there um in in group situations in at, at parties talking um to people that i don't know and and chit chatting mm -hmm. and stuff and it's something that i've um developed over the years because um people for me uh, people and, and emotions are, re are a really interesting um area for me but you know g going back to what i was saying um you know, for me, I gravitated towards Taekwondo okay, when I was younger. Okay, there's quite a few people on Spectrum that are good at that. That's good. Yeah, and um, my mom, my mom has always been really great. She's always introduced me to different different good. hobbies and stuff, and different. You know, within those hobbies, yeah, you have yeah. other people that you can talk to about the things and sort of slowly build those social skills up. Well, and um, I did a lot of things like that too, and the friends who shared interests. And fortunately, when I was in elementary school or what you'd call primary school, my third grade teacher, when I was eight years old, really good teacher, explained to the other students that had a disability that was not visible like a wheelchair. Yeah. And that's called peer mediated intervention. Actually, it's a fancy mm -hmm. name. And so I managed to not be bullied in elementary school or primary school, but uh, <coughs> when by the 14, 15, 16 years old, Secondary it was school. horrible. That was the High worst school. part of my life. And, and, and the only places I was not bullied was the friends who shared interests. Yeah. yeah. Horses, electronics, yeah. and model rockets. Mm -hmm. For another child, I had a mom tell me, Oh, my kid is in the regular high school. He's in band and he's in music concert and he's loving it. And then another parent comes to me and their kid is uh, miserable and high school yeah. is horrible and yeah. he's depressed and everything else. But where things have been good or a whole lot better is when there's a lot of there's a, a shared activities they can do. Mm -hmm. it, it is a really big issue um bullying and uh oh it's terrible it's absolutely terrible like even 
rates of severe mental health and and suicidality even even at a very young age is um something that that occurs way way too regularly like it's it's always something that i you know in my head i'm like why why aren't people talking about this this group of people who are um you know just to subject to such horrible life experiences very commonly and and you know developing these these mental health conditions as a well no it's, it's completely terrible and the thing that saved me is even in a career mm-hmm. okay to sit around the shop the well, there's two things you do you talk about in the shop how to build stuff and how stupid suits are <laughs> now i have the managers but so. the thing that saved me was friends who shared interests same thing at work you know we would um talk about animal behavior research stuff like that that's a sh- making up new studies to do an animal behavior like I did study 25 years ago. My student did it. I thought it up. And I said, well, I think cattle, they jump all around when you handle them. are going to have lower <laughs> weight gain. People thought I was crazy. Well, that's been replicated a whole bunch of times now. Yeah. But you see that, that again is career related. And, and I'm um, where I, I've had, you know, this is a book different, not less. This is mm-hmm. 18 people in the U S well, actually, it's one from the UK. Actually, it was a veterinarian where getting diagnosed later in life gave them insight into their relationships, mm. you know, and why they weren't getting along. Mm. And I edited this book. They wrote in their own words. I learned a lot from this, too, about how I think differently. It's uh, my main emotion is fear. Okay, uh, I'm. Okay, yesterday, for example, okay, I went to Canada and I've been out of the country for two and a half years. Sure. Now, I'm not going to say I freaked out as we approached customs, but I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I'm going on. It's going to be just fine. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, um, I'm, fear is my main emotion. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's like an emotional complexity that most people have that I don't have. Mm-hmm. So and it's kind of, it, it kind of sounds like, um, because I I do a lot I've done a lot of uh, reading into a concept called alexithymia, um, which I think is, is I don't know what that is. Could you tell me what it is? Sure. Um, it's the ability to to recognize and categorize your own emotions, and it's it's something that is very very highly um, correlated with autism, and you know one I kind of like to describe it as sort of like a threshold condition so it's um so if you for for example if you have a threshold of of anxiety from zero to 100 uh, 100 being complete meltdown complete can't do anything um and most most people their their threshold for noticing when the anxiety sort of increases would be like maybe 20, 30, 40%. Um, whereas for autistic people, our threshold is a lot higher. So it takes, you know, it takes a lot, a lot more time for us to notice, um, or a lot more st- strong emotions to notice them. And, you know, that, that, you know, you think, well, the other thing that, I find can... a lot of my problems is that a lot of problems I have, I don't have any processor. So the other day, the stupid parking gate didn't work at the airport. And this car I got, it's got proximity sensors. Then I take the seatbelt off to try to reach the thing to stick the credit card that in it that didn't work. So now I get the seatbelt thing going off, proximity sen- sensor going off, couldn't get the machine to work. Mm-hmm. And and that kind of stuff, um, you know, it, it loads my processor. Yeah. I like to use a computer analogy. I'm an Intel 286, but I got the cloud warehouses full of servers for memory. Mm-hmm. And you see it, just all those it's going ding, 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 and it's making some other noise, and I couldn't reach the machine, and and then if I get closer to it, then the proximity sensor made another alarm. I feel and, your pain. And that kind of stuff. If when I'm tired, I'm so I go to the gate with the attendant, mm-hmm. but the attendant gate wasn't open that night. So I just want to avoid that problem. So I just if I go to the gate that's got the person in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, the the whole th- the whole thing about uh, alexithymia is that it's, you know, it's 
it kind of goes off the basis that you you do you feel those those background complex like you experience those complex background emotions in your behavior. Yeah, see the thing is, I don't think I have complex emotions. I get scary easily, but then there's things where I used to be afraid of airplanes, terrified. Yeah. Well, you know how I got over that? You make them interesting. Yeah. You just make them really interesting. I got the ride in the cockpit back in the 70s, a big airplane hauling heifers. Mm-hmm. That was really interesting. I'm, I'm not afraid of airplanes anymore. Mm-hmm. It, it's sort of like you learn more about COVID. What I did with COVID is I read all these scientific articles about COVID. Okay, there's all this controversy about medications. I won't discuss them because it's yep. too controversial. Yep. But let's put it this way. I went deep into the scientific literature. And I was pretty sure if I got COVID, I could save my butt. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. And having that knowledge reduced the fear. Mm. So it's sort of... It, having the knowledge reduced the fear. So sort of controlling I'm, the unpredictable. I am a scientist. I was going very deep into the literature, scientific literature, way further than 99.9% of doctors believe. Sure. <laughs> I spent well, hours they're, they're online, ge- hours online they, on so. scientific databases doing that. Yeah. Um, that's how I dealt with my fear. Mm-hmm. Now, I can also be really happy. And I've learned, I got when I was a teenager, I got in trouble for anger. So I had to switch anger to crying. So then when I get in some situation that's upset, I cry because you don't get in trouble for crying. You sure. get in trouble for hitting. Yeah. So you have to, you know, get rid of that. Mm. And I can be sad. And I can tell you the things that make me sad. I have to give you a specific example. I read about a scientist in the Ukraine who was studying whale fossils mm-hmm. and he couldn't take his fossils with him. And so he photographed everything and he had a single portable hard drive. It's not like I think about the size of this book yeah. with his life work on it. And that's so it's a fragile thing. It could break so easily. His whole life's work was in a hard little hard drive box. And I start to get upset just talking about that. Yeah. He was doing everything he could to save his life's work, trying to download it to France over slow internet connections. I'm going, then finally went on a train with it. And I'm going, what would I do with that hard drive? It would be right here under my shirt, tucked in with a jacket over it. Yeah. I'm, I wouldn't even have it in a bag. Yeah. And the cords would be under the, my shirt too. You see, but preserving his life's work. I can't even talk about that without yeah. getting upset. I can't even look at a hard drive now without. <laughs> a portable hard drive practically now without getting upset because I think about that. And this gets back to what identity is. This scientist's identity was what was in that hard drive box. And he wanted to get it safely downloaded somewhere else. You could sure. drop it in a puddle. You see, I'm a visual thinker, and that's the end of his life's work. I, 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 see, I get, feel that I well. get upset about that. <laughs> you see, and that's... Um, I'm, I'm not saying that the, that the path I've taken is a path that everybody should do. But having interesting career, interesting stuff to do. I had to have a COVID project. So I worked on this book on visual thinking. I went deep into scientific literature on that. Because I had to have stuff to do. Yeah. Um, and then the knowledge I had of medical stuff. Um, well, now I'm quadruple vaccinated and I'm not worried about it now. Good. 